one of them hit Snoop in the face, and that's when he ran away and went straight to the cops. The situation started getting sketchy when 60 dudes came out of the backstage area and started coming for Snoop. But the cops called for backup and everything cooled off when over 40 more police showed up ready to handle the death row dudes. According to the report, Snoop thanked the cops for saving him and said his life was in danger ever since he left death row. Then he even told him that Suge Knight is the one who's behind Tupac's death. Tupac getting shot it was what really sparked the beef between Snoop and Suge but they were already having some major issues before then. While Tupac and Suge were going to war against the East Coast, Snoop wanted peace with everyone. He didn't want anyone to get hurt over the situation, but showing love to the East Coast almost got him killed. When Snoop first linked up with Dre and Suge Knight in the early death row days, he was all about the gangster rap image. He came in and helped Dre create his classic album, The Chronic, and rap fans couldn't wait for Snoop to drop his first solo project. Snoop went from the trenches of Long Beach to becoming a superstar overnight, but the streets weren't done with him yet. While Snoop was still working on his debut album, he was chilling outside of his apartment with some homies. A dude from the area named Philip Older Merriam pulled up on him and allegedly showed Snoop that he was strapped up. Then he pulled off with his crew. According to some reports, Walter Merriam had already put a gun to Snoop's head at a gas station, but he wasn't going to let anyone just walk all over him like that. Snoop and his homies hopped in his jeep to chase Walter Merriam down, but nobody expected the day to end with murder. Snoop and his crew caught up to Walter Merriam at a local park and they started yelling back and forth. The situation got so heated that Walter Merriam tried to up his strap and shoot Snoop, but Snoop Dogg's bodyguard was ready. Before he could even get a shot off, Snoop's bodyguard killed Walter Merriam. 